The Pima County Attorney's Office says domestic violence cases are rolling in at an unprecedented rate. News 4 Tucson's Alexis Burdine is digging deeper to learn what's triggering the rise and why these new cases can be difficult to prosecute. According to the Arizona Coalition to End Sexual and Domestic Violence, more than 1 million Arizonans will experience domestic violence. And for them, staying home can be deadly. I mean, leaving almost cost my life when I tried to leave my relationship. Um, so I can only imagine during the pandemic and not be able to quickly access a shelter or quickly access some of these resources. Lauren Easter left her abuser long before COVID-19 began. I felt hopeless and I felt scared and I felt isolated that I was never going to get out of the situation. Now, an empowered U of A graduate student, mother, and advocate. She's helping victims. The director of the Domestic Violence Law Clinic at U of A says calls for help keep coming in. I think there are a lot of people who are trying to leave at this time because it has been so difficult. But for shelters. When the stay at home order was put in place, we immediately saw a significant drop in people reaching out for services. All of Emerge's resources are available. The shelter is open and taking COVID-19 precautions. But community-based services are suffering, having gone virtual, which can create more barriers. If you're trapped at home with your abuser, then uh, it's very difficult to find that space to go online. The Pima County Attorney's Office is experiencing an up to 50% increase in domestic violence cases during some months compared to last year. I think all in all since March, it's about a 32% increases increase in the amount of uh, felony level cases coming to the county attorney's office. And despite virtual resources, it's become more difficult to prosecute some cases. We've noticed there are less victims going to the hospital. Fearful of contracting COVID-19. It's a little bit different now is that we have to have advocates who normally would respond to, to the scene. Um, they're not able to do that now. And that can mean less documentation for prosecutors. Last week, Governor Ducey announced that help is on the way for domestic violence resource providers who will get financial help through the Arizona Coronavirus Relief Fund. Emerge, where Easter volunteers, is receiving $35,000. Especially with the amount of increased cases that we are seeing, reports that we are seeing, there's many people going through this and they're is an alternative, there is a way out, and there are resources available to help you achieve those goals. Victims can file a protective order and get other safety planning resources online and over the phone. You can find a full list of those resources at kvoa.com slash digging deeper. Digging deeper from downtown, Alexis Burdine, News 4 Tucson.